So today I'm going to be doing a Kinsey Life Hacks slash tips that I wish I would have known to make it in my own 15. If you guys want to go check out the videos that I, I used for my own 15 that helped me, I'll leave them in the link in the link down below if I can find them. A lot of those ideas you're probably going to find in my video just because I use them in my own 15. Um, yeah, let's get so, started. So number one, when you're going to start your 15, the first thing you're going to want to do is get the salon and the church first. That's the first thing you're going to want to do. Now, a lot of 15s, a lot of quinceañeras do not have a church, which is totally fine if you're not going to have a church. The very first thing I recommend you to do is get the dates for your salon or your church. If you are going to have a church and a salon, I definitely recommend that that's the first thing you see because it's going to be very hard to find a church and a salon that have the same date. So you definitely want to start off with that first. Um, and like I said, a lot of girls don't have a church, which is totally fine but you definitely want to make sure you have the date of your 15 already set the second thing to do is to obviously look for your 15 dress and themes you want to start looking into themes um a lot of times your theme is going to be the color of your 15 dress or it's going to be based off of the colors of your 15 dress at least for me my theme was a lot of my color which means that i incorporated a lot of blush a lot of silver a lot of rose gold and a lot of gold because just were the colors that were in my dress and also choose other themes like a beauty and the beast theme a cinderella theme or my theme was my colors and flowers i incorporated a lot of flowers into my 15 i even incorporated flowers into my dance in my center tables to have flowers like we got them done with flowers i'll insert a video somewhere in here so you guys can see my bases stars maybe we need to poo anything like literally it could be anything you do look for your dress you want to make sure it's not two years ahead because i know a lot of girls start to organize their 15s two years ahead or one year ahead which is totally fine i started organizing my 15 eight months before which i think is a perfect timing at least for us it wasn't too early it wasn't too late a lot of girls you know when they start organizing their 15 they get their dresses like two years before which is fine but you have to keep in mind that our body changes and you could either gain weight or lose weight. So you never know. So just try and get your dress when you're closer to the date rather than later to the date because you never Number three, know. This is a saving money tip if you want to save some money. Choreography. You do not need to get a professional choreographer to choreograph, choreograph, choreograph your dance. You could totally make up your own dance, which is a nice saving money tip. I made up my own dance. I know a lot of friends that made up their own dances and my older sister even made up her own dance. I also know a lot of people that did pay for a choreographer to choreograph. Like I said, if you have the money, go for it. And if you don't want to put in the time to make up dances, then just get a choreographer. It's going to be easy if it's going to be easier for you. But I definitely do recommend that if you can and if you want to become more creative and make it more you, choreograph your own dances it doesn't have to be all that it doesn't have to be all extra i definitely recommend youtube videos they're gonna help you a lot so i just took little dances from different videos in youtube and made up my own dance literally the simplest dance can go so pretty it can be a little five minute dance it's gonna look so nice you can make up your dances with your friends or you can make it by yourself um i made up my own dances and my sister helped me choreograph choreograph my chambalanes because obviously we're all the same age i'm not gonna be able to control them all but my sister was the one that kept us on track like hey you know get to dance. Number four, keeping track of everything in a folder slash binder. Um, it's very important that you keep track of literally everything, payments that you do for, let's say, your crown or your salon. Anything that you do, you want to keep track of everything in a folder or in a binder. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. From the start that we started planning my 15, this is where I put everything. You will find all of the payments that we did for my 15. You want to keep track of everything. You do not want to lose anything because a 15 can get crazy and if you do not keep track of things you're gonna lose your mind set timings for stuff because if you do not set timings or a schedule you're gonna lose your mind for that day so maybe like set a schedule this is the time i'm gonna wake up this is the time the hairstylist is gonna do my hair this is the time i'm gonna get my makeup done and you just want to keep track of everything it's so more nice because if not you're gonna lose number your mind. five payments which is kind of like the same thing if you have the money to do it and to just pay off the whole salon do it but most people what they do is do payments which i'm sure you already know about payments so you can do payments of the crown payments of the dress payments of the salon it, you don't have to pay everything all at once so do not stress about it you can do everything in payments which is why it's so important to keep track of everything in a folder so you know what payments you have six done. padrinos um a lot of quinceañeras have padrinos a lot have more than others it all really depends on your family um if you have a closer family you definitely could have padrinos for a lot of things there's padrinos for 
crown does you want extra help whether you know are perfect for saving money go ask people that you are close with to be up with them. personally us my parents and like us we did not ask for specific money we just said whatever you can help us with it would be perfect and that's what we did i didn't ha have a lot of other my family's not that close but if you have a lot of close relatives that could help you and you guys can all come together then i say go for it and ask for that help because you're gonna need it i mean it's a quinceanera is a very expensive Another saving money tip is to make your own center tables which includes literally just you can make it all your own you can order everything online that's what we did my vases it was very simple we got vases and then we did get them imprinted with some with my name in it and the date and we did get some flowers in it so you can see that's extra money obviously you don't need to um we wanted to add that little detail you can make your own artificial fake flowers which kind of goes into my next little tip and hack artificial or real flowers to save money you can get artificial flowers and make your own my center tables we like i said i ordered everything and we did go to a floreria where we ordered the real flowers from there and then they set up our vases and then they took them to the salon um but you do not need to go to a floreria that's pr it's pricey flowers and they're gonna i mean they ended up dying so if you want to go and save some money i definitely recommend artificial flowers literally you do not need real flowers artificial flowers are gonna last forever. another saving money little tip slash hack you do not need a limo limos are very beautiful and nice to pass the time and they're gonna take you and your chamelanes to a place from the other but keep in mind that if you do not end up having a limo do not stress about it if you do not have the money for it do not stress about it you do not need it at the end of the day it's your party that's gonna be what's fun and it's gonna be waiting for you a limo is just to have a little bit of fun if you have an aunt or an uncle that has a cool truck ask them i'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind letting you borrow the the truck for that day and so you and your chamaranes can go go to the park in it and go take some pictures you can even decorate it but do not stress if you cannot afford a limo you do not need right, stretch out your shoes this is very important that you do this just a week before or like two weeks before start walking around with them so you can kind of get the feel of them because that day you don't want to trip or you don't you know you're gonna be in a big dress which is already hard enough and with heels you know it's gonna be harder so you kind of want to get the feel of the heels so by the time your 15 comes you're very comfortable get your whole family involved which kind of relates to padrino 15 is a lot of work so you're definitely gonna want to get family involved if you do have a close relationship with family. chambelanes now chambelanes i definitely recommend you get close friends that to be your chamananas or cousins people that you like to be around with because you have to keep in mind you're going to be with them the whole day also if you're going to have a video you're going to see them in your videos you're going to see them in your pictures so you definitely don't want to have somebody that you don't like and do not get a boyfriend of yours or a guy that you have a crush on because you never know what could happen I don't recommend you having your boyfriend just a little opinion um but if you want to go ahead and have him i just don't recommend him because i just don't recommend it do not try anything new you have never tried the week before you're 15 i cannot stress this enough that means face masks makeup products like lip gloss or eyeshadows or food like peanut butter do not try any of those if you have never tried them right the week before you're 15 why because you don't know if you're gonna have an allergic reaction and you do not want to risk it so please do not try anything that you've never tried your whole life right on the week of your getting your own hair and makeup done nowadays a lot of girls are very talented at a young age i'm not I, i'm not good at makeup but my sister is so she ended up doing my makeup i did get a professional hairstylist to come to my house and do my hair but if your mom is very talented or you know you and your mom could watch videos a month before you're 15 and start practicing like every week until the day of your 15 it comes out perfect you know you don't have it doesn't have to be anything crazy it could literally just be curly hair with a little bump boom that could be your hair do not stress out i know a makeup artist and hairstylist can come out very expensive so if that's something that's out of your budget you do not need it trust extra stuff like by that i mean do not stress out if you cannot afford a dessert table photo shoots balloons etc like all those extra stuff you know stuff that we see at friends parties and we're like oh i want that but a lot of times, you know, we can't afford it because it's out of our budget. Do not stress out if you cannot have it in your 15 because you don't need it. Eat something light on the day of your 15. You want to make sure you eat something. You do not want to go the whole day without eating. You do not want to faint. No fainting, please. But you also, whenever whatever you do eat, don't eat greasy stuff or chips or any of that because then you don't want an upset. This is another money little saving tip. You do not need a video photographer or a photographer for your 15th. They can come out to be very expensive nowadays. 
but I will say though if you can I this is one of the things that I for sure recommend you to invest your money in this is this video and these pictures are the memory that you're gonna have for the rest of your life that you're gonna be able to show your kids do you have the money I 100% think that you should invest it in a videographer or photographer just because you know you're these are memories that you're gonna have for the rest of your life but don't stress it if you cannot um nowadays there's stuff like snapchat and instagram so you're gonna have pictures for the rest of your life but um i definitely do recommend if you do have the money to get these because you're not gonna regret it decorations i think that getting involved in your 15 making is very important it's gonna be a fun journey i definitely miss organizing my 15 but get involved in your decorations by that do your center tables do decorations around the hall um me i made the flowers for the backdrop of my 15 i definitely recommend that you get involved with your decorations with your center tables with everything that has to do with your 15 you're gonna definitely you're gonna miss it you're just really gonna miss everything about it so i definitely recommend you on the day of your 15 as you are getting your hair and makeup done please before any of that wear a buttoned up shirt because you do not want to ruin your makeup or hair so a buttoned up shirt you're gonna you could easily take off and put it on you do not want to wear a t-shirt that's gonna ruin your hair wear shorts on the day of your scene under your corona because your corona is gonna stab you when i say that like to to this day i still have a little cicatriz that i think it's never gonna go away from my corona which is fine i mean it's very small but um you're you know you're gonna want to wear shorts and i wore shorts so i don't even want to like imagine what would have happened if i wouldn't have worn shorts you know so wear, wear shorts start packing a bag the week before your 15 people say that the week of the week of your 15 is gonna be the most stressful week so start packing it like the week before it because that whole week is just gonna be too stressful and you don't want to be packing your bag the day before your 15 it's all your surprise dance outfits extra shoes you definitely want to make sure you pack extra shoes because your heels are gonna hurt and you're gonna want to take them off Anything that you think you're going to need, please put it in there. Hair curler, deodorant, makeup products, band-aids. It's better to go prepared than not prepared. Smile. So, I know this day is going to be a very long day. You're going to wake up very early and it's going to end pretty late. But, please smile. You don't want to be in your video like this. I understand. There's going to be times where it's like, sometimes, you know, you're going to be annoyed. You don't want to be like me mugging everybody. Make sure you're trying to smile as much as you can. Obviously, you don't have to smile like... 24 7 but it's gonna be good that you're smart. don't stress out about it and have fun this whole experience from the beginning to the end organizing everything is gonna be very stressful i will say that you're gonna have a lot of fun this day regardless of what happens try and have fun do not let anything get to you it's gonna become stressful at times but you're gonna really miss anyways it. that was it for my 15 life hacks video slash tips slash advice from me i hope that this helped you in the making of your 15. If you have any more questions, please comment down below and I will try and answer you as soon as I can.